let's talk about Jabail, which um, I guess is this is it accurate to say it's the biggest civil engineering project in modern times? Is is that that, that sort of has built and you know you never know if that's hyperbole, but is that accurate? I it is. It, it's got to be. I mean, it's always it's always difficult to 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 man, you know to measure that. But I, I think we would we would consider it one of the uh, the largest civil engineering undertakings in modern times. I mean, um, it is certainly our our longest running project. I mean, it's a it's a program that just goes on um, and on. And I guess what's what's really remarkable is it it started from nothing. It was a, a very small fishing village. Um, you know, there was a, a, a realization in the early 1970s that there was huge value with associated gases, gas that were being flared off. Um, and, and there was a, a really kind of prescient decision to uh, embark on this program. And it was steady year after year, uh, such that today there's an entire city there uh, of over 100,000 people. So uh, we worked on Jabail uh, one, Jabail two, and um, there's there's a future for for Jabail um, three as well. And then recently, um, the Royal Commission uh, for Jabail and Yambu, who's our our, our customer there, um, has asked us to help manage the industrial zone of uh, Ras El Hair, which is um, to the north of of Jabail. Um, but it is an awesome it is an awesome undertaking. Um, and, and, and you have to, you have to, if you and Lucian ever get the chance, you have to go out and, and see it. Jabail initially is focused on petrochemicals primarily. That, that's right. I mean, I think today it's considered the largest, um, industrial city, industrial complex in, in the world, or certainly one of them. And, uh, it's, it's, it's petrochemicals, uh, all of the downstream industries associated with that. Uh, but there's also a town there, you know, for, for people to live. Right. So everything from, from hospitals to schools, uh, universities, uh, a corniche, um, everything. And then, of course, all of the plots, all of the support um, utilities, all of the roads, all of the planning and engineering to support all of these um, industrial tenants. And is that something that I don't want to digress here because uh, we've got a whole series of interesting things we want to get to, but it, it's not just construction. You're not just coming in and building these things. It, it, it's space like, you know, an investment of that sco scope and that scale. Uh, there's tremendous uh, integration of U.S. And, and Saudi leadership, but also, you know, at the skill sector implementation. I mean, it's interesting that you say it's a city. I mean, it, isn't it? It's a different experience, it seems, when you're at, in at that scale and a richer experience. Yeah, I mean, you, you just to key into one thing you said, integration. I mean, it, it is different than a lot of projects that we have, certainly here in the kingdom, because we're working hand in glove with the Royal Commission. Um, we're fully integrated. So when you go into the offices, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, you know, readily, it's not obvious who, who works for Bechtel and who works for, for the Royal Commission. Um, you know, we do things there, um, like some of the city works, the municipal works, engineering, planning, um, also obviously construction, helping manage the construction packages and things like that. So it's it's the whole spectrum from front end development, um, working and interfacing um, with, with industrial tenants. It's um, doing engineering packages, managing engineering packages, managing construction, working on um, turnover, um, and then long-term uh, maintenance of the facility. So, it's really managing a, a whole city together in partnership with the Royal Commission.